Now, I didn't know this, but apparently losing weight is fat phobic in 2022. And the main reason for that, they're saying is the before and after pictures. The, the whole transformation they say is fat phobic for the pure fact that you're saying you're a better person in the after versus in the before where you were fat. Now that is just as stupid as it sounds, but these TikToks swear they're making some something, something happen. These kids have literally turned on friendly fire on themselves. They're saying that the ex fats are somehow evil because they're saying that losing weight is good. I I know I know, but we're gonna we're gonna sit back and we're gonna sit back and enjoy because th th this is a war for the ages. Fatter. How can I get more laughs? Maybe if I was a bit fatter, and then suddenly I was fatter and doing comedy. So I'm. Yo, she looks like Takashi Six Nine. Like, w damn, she got a tattoo on all of her necks. I see like three of her necks getting tattooed right there. That's crazy. What the fuck is she a rapper? Like, what's going on? About seventy five percent of you aren't subscribed. Help me get to two thousand. Go follow me on Instagram. Uh, shoot me a DM. I respond to all the messages there. So if you want to talk, go ahead and shoot me a message. Why is skinny a compliment and fat is an insult? Not everybody wants to be skinny. Well, honey, there's not a billion dollar industry made to prevent people from being skinny. When people go, wow, I'm so skinny, people don't reply and go, no, you're not skinny, you're beautiful. Your personal dislike about your own body does not eradicate the fact that skinny is status quo. It does not erase the fact that the entire world was made to benefit thin people. Being skinny is seen as a compliment because it comes with an immense amount of privilege. Okay, well, you can argue the same thing with this privilege bullshit. If you want to bring up privilege, let's bring up privilege. You have the privilege to eat like a horse. Uh, you Actually, no, 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 not even a horse. You have the privilege to eat like an elephant. And uh, there's people out there that are starving that can't even provide for their kids, their family. There's people that literally die of starvation. Like, <laughs> world hunger is an all-time high. Uh, wh what are we talking about with privilege? You have more privilege than half the world. Uh, let's not bring up privilege. Being skinny is a compliment because you can wear things just like Kendall Jenner does. And be yeah, because because you work hard to uh, to be skinny, you you have to work hard. That is a harder body to achieve than to be fat. Anybody can be fat. It, it, anybody can be fat, but not everybody can be fit. Okay, th th that's why it's a compliment. On a fashionista, simply because you're skinny, it is a compliment because you don't get told that the world is not meant for you. It is a compliment because you don't get ignored. <laughs> there, eh, okay, let's not let's stop the cap. There's no way you're getting ignored. If you're walking down the hallway, you're the first thing I'm seeing because you're covering up the whole hallway. I can't really see behind you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, th there's no way you guys are getting ignored. Okay, th th that is that's the last thing you're getting. You're not getting ignored. Medical professionals, just because of your weight. Yeah, medical professionals are ignore ignoring people because they're fat. Uh huh. It makes sense. She, she looks like she's never been to a doctor. Like, I, I bet you when she stepped on the scale, it says to be continued. Like, you don't have to like the thin body that you were in, but learn to differentiate between your own self perception and society's perception of thin bodies. I, I don't understand what the society's perception of thin bodies is. I feel like we all have preferences, right? Like, some people actually date fat girls because I have a I have a friend who likes fat girls I've disowned him but he does like fat girls a lot now listen I don't know what she's talking about half the time when she says the perception of thin body like uh, a thin body in society is preferred for the pure fact that you can actually you know live as long as your partner <laughs> you can run a mile you know like there's there's advantages to being thin but there's not advantages to being fat like I don't, I don't think you understand that people will do anything but work out the amount of energy she's probably wasted on just making these TikToks, she could have probably lost 100 pounds. Like, it, it's insane. And then we get the hit with the whole thing, oh, I don't want to lose my body fat. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You're just too lazy to do it. That, 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 that's the only way you're making these movements is because you're too lazy to do it. That, like, like, I can see through your bullshit. It, it's very clear to me. Diet culture, or personal trainers, say, take progress photos to stay on track. What they're actually doing is perpetuating the idea, lie, that us humans are healthier when we are smaller. Which Shut up. We are, we are healthier when we're smaller. You're, you're not, if you compare a 150 pound person to a 270 pound person, there's, there's immense difference. I, I bet you one will live long and I don't have to tell you which one. I bet you one can do 10 push-ups. I don't have to tell you which one. You know what I'm saying? 
but I bet you the other one can out eat the entire fast food menus. Like, uh, come on, bro. One, one thing we're not gonna do is we're not gonna lie here. Like, we're not gonna lie for someone's feelings. If your feelings get hurt over the truth, that's tough. Uh, move on, that's tough. Simply not true. These transformation photos also demonize the before photo as someone that is not good enough just as they are. What? Does what? <laughs> okay. Listen, this whole before photo, demonizing the before photo, I think I'm a better person than I was a week ago. And I feel like, I feel like that, that's how you gotta live life. It doesn't matter what your weight was, how you looked, how much muscle you have. If you are better than you were a week ago or a year ago or 10 years ago, you're doing good. The, the before and after pictures, you don't need that for weight loss. The, the, those can be done for numerous amount of things. Hey, growing a beard, uh, gaining some muscle. Uh, I don't, there's so much shit you can do with the before and after pictures that it, there's no such thing as demonized Can we stop pretending like we're five-year-old kids like god this bitch has so much pick-me energy you she's not fat She's clearly just doing it for the attention What does content say about somebody that looks like the before photo? It says you are not good enough as you are and I had to go to extreme lengths to not look like you And I'm being celebrated for that Who's saying that? This is oh my god. I swear to god. These people can make anything up anything to get offended They they have a talent. This is an unhidden talent that I've never seen in a anywhere else They, they can make uh, issues out of nowhere the, If I see a before and after picture all that does to me is motivate me I'm like damn if he can do it. I can do it that that's how before and after pictures should be looked at not like oh damn I look like the before I must be trash Get your fat ass up and go to the fucking gym and uh, m maybe you'll look like the after in a couple years. Like Piggybacking onto fat phobia and body shaming. This content also regularly focuses around women. That a woman's primary focus in life should be to take up as little space as possible. Nobody has ever said that. I, I promise you nobody has ever said that. This bitch has so much shit in her brain. Like she's instead of her brain, she has shit. Like it's actual shit. Her brain has got no waves. She has a smooth brain. That shit looks like a, it looks smooth. There's no waves on that shit. Like, her fucking, her, she's so fucking stupid. And, and it's crazy to me how it immediately goes to the women, like taking little space as possible. Like it immediately goes to the women's topics that uh, fat women uh, are being oppressed. I never hear anything about fat men. Like it, all, all I hear is uh, the women actually making fun of the fat men. Like body positivity was literally stolen. Like this is not even a this is not even a term that should be used for fat acceptance. Like uh, you never you never see anybody uh, saying that it's okay to be fat as a man. And I think that'll be enough for today. I mean, people will literally do anything but the work to lose the weight or whatever. They always want to look at cheat codes or to be pettied at. If you want to watch the last fat acceptance cringe video I did, I'll put that video right here. Um, I think that might, that that one might be worse than this one. I'm not too sure.